2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the final stop of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today's coverage of the Tour Championship is about to start. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beam as we kick off this Tour Championship. Rich, this player on the tee is currently ranked first in the FedEx Cup points list, so they're starting this tournament at 10 under. What a lovely advantage to have. Well, it beats the chasing pack, isn't it? I'd rather start at 10 under than even par. This player's played well all year long, and so it's a deserving spot for them, isn't it? They've shown that they're so far head and shoulders above the rest. However, you have one last tournament to continue that trend. And it's not easy. It's not easy to maintain that when you know that the rest of the 29 players, they're gunning for one thing and one thing only, and that's your spot. So as good a position as it is, it's also a very pressure-packed situation and position to be in, isn't it? It's not a given, it's not a guarantee. It's a head start, if you like, but that's all it is. I know I can't wait. Let's get back down to the coverage. The opening hole, Rich, at East Lake is not an easy one, is it? It is not. Second shot plays straight back up the hill, a green that tilts from back to front. Two bunkers on the opening of this green, right and left, pose all sorts of problems. A tad wayward, but still on the surface. Would need something special to happen to get the birdie here. This is from miles away. That was a gallant attempt. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. This is a par putt. Currently in first position. On the tee of a par three. Going with the five iron here. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hold a long one. Still counts. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? 18-footer uh, here is what he's facing. A little birdie look in here. This one has eyes for the hole. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. Here we are at the third. That one was fired out of a cannon. That's a heavy lie this player has drawn.
There's 17 feet remaining to the hole. This for back-to-back -back birdies. Be the ball, Danny. No, 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 no. One wheat picks too many, I think. This putt's about four feet from the hole. And there it is. Sitting at minus 11 for the day. Teeing off here at the fourth. That one's heading down Broadway. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? They're setting up this next shot into quite an elevated green, Luke. Looks to be going with the six iron. Oh, what a lovely shot. He'll be delighted to be inside the range there. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Okay, steady now. No, that's too bad. An opportunity to make a par here. Still in the lead now after that hole. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Come on, you're better than that. Henny, how's that ball lying? It's tough to see from here. Looks like they have a bad lie here in the second cut. This is not sitting nicely. This one might need to sit. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. And just about eight feet left to the hole. Oh, so close. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. That's a disappointing par in the end after such a terrific shot in. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. The sixth hole at uh, East Lake Rich, one to get after. You don't need to be long off the tee, Luke. It's only 525 yards, but the second shot plays straight back up the hill, so a little length helps. That's a nice looking tee shot, that one. Oh, wow. They're thinking of going for this one.
And here we are with the third shot. He leads the field by a stroke. Here's a chance to get to 12 under. Looking good. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. Leading by a couple after that hole. Teeing off here at the seventh. This player's got some lovely momentum coming off a birdie at the last. Not a bad line, this one. Lining up from around 160 yards. He's got a two-stroke buffer. Going with the eight iron here. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Oh, that's incredible. It's in the hole. That, hey, you know what that is? That's a... Just drop the mic right there on him. Well, that's worth reviewing. Let's roll the video tape. Yeah, this was a gift. Wasn't expecting this. Man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? Hey guys, we are checking in down here with Justin Rose as he gets set for his next shot here on the third. Our leader is up by four shots now. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. <laughs> Playing from around 160 yards. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. That one seemed to get away from them, Rich. One of the rare misses for this player today, Luke. They've been handling a lot of greens today. Oh, that's a bonus. Chip in for birdie. That's always a nice feeling. Now that finds him in first place. We have a par three on this one. Looks like they've got the five wood. And he's safely on the green with that shot. Made birdie on the last, looking for a second in a row here. It's tracking. Some momentum being built now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. That's a momentum maker, isn't it? Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. 
Time now to make the turn for home, Rich, and uh, this is an exciting part of the championship. What are your thoughts on this performance? Yeah, fantastic round today. Lots of golf yet to be played. Lots of great players chasing this player. Let's see if they can keep up the good work. Nicely done. Always difficult to get a gauge of the exact distance when playing uphill to the green. Well, a little off the target with that one. And coming up well short. Oh, I like that. Always good when you've got hands like that around the green. Love watching this player around the greens. Now, five shots up after that hole. There's always a sense of excitement striding onto the tee of a par three hole. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. This one needs to find a patch of gravity in a hurry. That's not what they were looking for. Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. Oh, I thought that one was going in. <laughs> this putt for par here. Was on a good line. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. Try and keep that scorecard a little less dirty. This is for bogey. Well, that's providing some hope to the rest of the field as our leader stumbles with a bogey. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Time to face a par four. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Second shot here on the 12th. Well, it's found the surface, but that's about as much as you can say about it. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. Oh, just missed. That'll sting a bit. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. That will work.
currently minus 15 for the day. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. And after a part of the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. This one should find the rough. And he's down there. Yeah, he's looking at maybe a little over 130 to the pin. Not a bad approach. Will be putting. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. Still a fair way away from the hole here. Time to make a long putt. Just didn't drop. Well, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. You know, Luke Donald once made all 400-plus attempts inside three feet on the PGA Tour. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. <laughs> Playing this shot from around 220 yards here. Now a three-shot lead over the field. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? All right, down the hill here. Got to be gentle. It's tracking. Nice putt to make that one. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Ooh, that was a touch of class. Wouldn't mind seeing that again. What an amazing putt from way out. leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. Great shot. This one's for Birdie. This really looks good. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. Back to back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. and maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. And there's a lot of pressure on the line, Rich, as we get to the closing holes at Eastlake, and here we are at 16. Tough tee shot, 454 yards, deep bunker down the right-hand side, tee shot plays straight back up the hill. Go ahead and give her a wallop. Nicely done. 
What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up here from about 155. Do you think they drew that up differently in their mind? Lots of greens and regulations today for this player, but not so on this occasion. Very crafty, that shot. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Leading by five shots after that. And as we get to the penultimate holiday slate, Rich, what does it require? The tee has been moved back some 60 yards over the last couple of years, putting a premium on finding the fairway. Those bunkers down the left-hand side are menacing, to say the least. Well played, mate. From about 130 yards here. Oh, what a wonderful shot into the 17th and sets up another putt inside birdie range. So far, so good. Oh, what a super shot. And let's take a look at this shot from a moment ago. Second shot here. Oh, that's remarkable, Justin Rose. A touch of class. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Our current leader is enjoying a six-stroke advantage. And after a recent switch of the nines here at Eastlake, the finishing hole's gone from a tough par three, Rich, to a really gettable five. Go ahead and take out the driver and enjoy this tee shot. It might be difficult, but if you hit it in the fairway, you will definitely be rewarded by being able to go for it in two. Time for the second shot on the 18th. Going with the five wood. Looks like they're definitely going for it. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and get rewarded for it. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Yeah, he's staring down about 12 feet. Rolling end to end is looking nice. And that'll be all she wrote today. Well played.